Paradox Rift is a new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet set. It's just released. I managed to pick myself up an Iron Valiant Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. That's a mouthful, but this box has a lot of stuff inside of it. In the last video, I opened up the Roaring Moon ETB. So if you want to see what's inside of that, check out the last video. But for now, let's just get straight into this one. Let's do it. Alright guys, as you can see we have the Iron Valiant Paradox Rift Pokemon Center Exclusive Elite Trainer Box. There's so much to say because there's so much inside. Uncover the anomalies of Area Zero. It's the same text as the last one. But the difference is, is obviously we have the different artwork. We have the different, just other products that we'll get into. But it looks like we get a different promo card. So we can check that out for sure. All right, 11 booster packs in there. Let's just get straight into it. Let's see what we get. Let's pull back the sleeve. We get the player's guide again with just a set, set list and everything. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to look at that. Then on the inside, like usual, smack the camera there because you know I'm professional. Let's just see what's in. We get the status counters, damage counters, whatever they're called, poison fire. The cubes or the dice. They're actually a lot nicer than the other one. I don't know. I think it's the same color, but I think it's the same color, but this is just green. The dice, I mean, rather than the red. That's cool. Let's have a look. All right, there's the energy. Standard stuff. No need to get into them. There's the four dividers. Now, if you didn't watch the last video, I made a big oopsie. So you should definitely go check that out. They're pretty cool looking dividers. It is weird to see these older Pokemon just made into different forms like you have the futuristic guard of war basically and in the last etb it was a salamence so that they made ancient roaring moon i like it a lot some of the designs are awesome let me know what you guys think and then here we have the sleeves if i can get them out there you go pretty standard sleeves they remind me of the uh what is it the professor juniper or whatever her name is i don't know what her name is but cool there's the code card. I know one of you guys would like that for sure. And then to get to the bulk. The good. The good bulk. There we have the 11 packs right there. I love that the Pokemon Center exclusive has 11 packs compared to, I think, 9? Nine? 9 for the regular ETBs? Oh, how could I forget? There we have the promo card. Now it's Iron Bundle. So just like the other cards that are future and ancient, this is a future version of Delibird. Now again, Delibird's such... I mean, it's a Pokemon that no one really cares for, right? No one's favorite Pokemon is Delibird, but they made him a little metal guy, which is pretty cool. Gave him some uh, some rockets or something at the back there, it looks like. That's cool. Now, if you're wondering why I have two, it's because I got the Pokemon Center exclusive. So that means I get the lovely stamp. Cool. But for now, let me clear this up and then we'll get straight into the packs. Like always, we have our packs. We've got the Roaring Moon, the Armor Rouge, the Garchomp, and the Iron Valiant. Here we are. And the last ETB, I've got a bunch of the same art cover, but they all look evenly spread out this time around. So if you haven't seen what I got in the last ETB, there were some really nice pulls. You should definitely go check that out. Well, let's just get straight into Paradox Rift. Pack number one of the ETB. Give me something juicy. Here we go. Like always, code card. One from the back. Start off with the leaf. We get the Bond Suite. It's a cool looking card. The Feebas. Oh, look at that art. That's wonderful looking art. Apom. Pansage. Wog Trio, Technical Machine, Blindside, are they coming at me? I think they might be coming at me, this is for me, don't like that, ooh, <laughs> there's the Iron Bundle, the regular card, again, I love how the regular cards, with the Future and Ancient, they just look like special cards, but they're not really, so that's really nice to see, 
Let me know what you guys think about that. Remoraid is a reverse into a Gligar reverse into... Ooh, an Iron Moth Future Hollow. Now, I don't... Ooh, I like how the Hollow actually come through onto the page. That's really cool. So, yeah, I had no idea uh, that the Pokemon were, like, future and, and past Pokemon when I played the game with Pokeball Girl. I had no idea, so it was really cool to see. And uh, I had the Ancient... The ancient Pokemon and Pokeball Girl had the future Pokemon. I don't remember which one's the which. I think I was Scarlet, she was Violet. But yeah, it was interesting. So I never really saw any future Pokemon in my playthrough, but and she didn't see any ancient ones in hers. But we traded a little bit. We saw a few. But which ones do you prefer? Do you prefer the ancient or the future? Because I definitely preferred the ancient. Great Tusk looks amazing. Surskit, Wishma, Flamigo, Porygon. That's cute. Steeny. A Glizgore. Absol, and I love this art. I love this art. The reverse is a Spinder into a Kingdra into... Oh, an Alteria EX full art. Lovely. That is lovely. Looks like he's having the time of his life right there. Awesome. That's one hit out of two so far. It's a decent hit to get. I'm happy with that. We've got one hit and two packs already so far. I'm hoping that the hits aren't as bad as they were in the last ETD. I wouldn't say bad. The hits weren't bad at all for sure, but we could have got more hits out of packs is what I'm saying. Hopefully we get a more num like just more hits in general in this. Alright, we start off with the steel. Ferrisseed. Gibble. Pampor. I hate these monkeys. Whoa. Look at that blitzel. That's the coolest looking blitzel. Is that Kanda? Yeah, it is Kanda forever. Reminds me a lot of Kamiya. He's, one, he's my favorite artist for these Pokemon cards for sure. Defiance Vest. The Loser. Again, cool looking art. I'm really enjoying the art in this set. Technical Machine Turbo Energize. My lord, so much text. The Rest is an Onyx into a Nimble into a more Peko. It's a very dark card. Interesting. So I don't really know anything about the set, but. Alteria EX is the only hit we've had so far out of these three packs, I believe. We're on to the fourth pack. Hopefully we can get some big pulls. I know Garchomp's in the set. I don't think people can dislike Garchomp. He's a great looking Pokemon. So let's see if we get him. Leaf, Octillery, Golbat, Larry, Yamask, Durant, Earthen Vessel, my lord. Medical Energy. Panzer is the reverse into a Magby into oh an Iron Hands EX. Now another future card. Oh, I love I love the background on it. So it has the same blue. I don't see any red. Well, I just I think there's like one or two squares that are red. Interesting. I love how it looks like it's a different type or something. Or I, I don't know how to describe it, but. I like how it's half and half and it like phase out. That's really cool. And obviously Iron Hands being the future version of Hariyama. It's interesting. It's really cool. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, this ETB is looking good. It's looking good. So we've got the Roaring Moon on the pack art. Let's see if we can get him in the pack. Code card. Like always. Are you guys enjoying this set? I mean, what do you guys think about the ancient and future Pokemon? Let me know if you guys think they're cool or not. I, I think it's a welcome addition. There we go. All right, Seedra, Magby, Venolite. Wait, did he always have a... Was that always his first evolution? I don't remember. I don't think I played this po uh, played the Pokemon game that he came out in. Oricorio, Simisage, Orphworm. Toad's cruel. Look at him creeping around. He's this gen's hypno, apparently. Mianfu's the reverse into a blip bug into. Oh, okay, a brute bonnet. Again, I think it's just a regular hollow, but look how cool they make these regular hollows look. I don't think I'll get bored of packing these guys. I mean, again, brute bonnet, an ancient version of Amoongus. But the cards look so cool. I love that it just turned into like sand or like layers of the earth it's really really cool 
All right, we're down to our last six packs. We've got a couple hits, but nothing crazy. I want something crazy. I want something crazy. I want something crazy. We've got a hard time of it with 151, so let me have it a bit easy. Let me have it easy with Paradox Rift. Looks like they want to fight me about it, so let's see. Mantike. Good bite. Oh, that's a good sign. All right, we've got Minon. Dubblade, it's a cool looking card. Techno Raider, again, future. So you see how it has the blue and the red and everything. It's cool, I like it. Counter Catcher, Masquerain. Oh, Golispod, I don't know how you say that. A Golisopod, Golisopod, reverse. <laughs> into a Galvantula, into a Wochian Hollow. All right. Let's get into this. Garchomp on the front. Let's see if we get Garchomp inside. And if you guys aren't aware, my trick or trade video had a giveaway in it. So if you want to enter, watch that video and you'll find out how. I think it's worth it. Let's see. So we start off with the leaf. Purloin. Mianfu. Ferro Seed. Gibble. Durant. Kevin Durant. Some Earthen Vessel. Medical energy. I had those two in a row the last pack. The reverse is a tinker dink. Into a gimme ghoul. Into I keep moving the camera back, but ooh, a Steelix. It's a cool looking card. But we need something bigger. So just like the last ETB, we are struggling with the hits once again. Once again. If you guys are opening up any of these ETBs, let me know how your guys' luck goes, because I don't know. I feel like my luck's all dried up since Obsidian Flames. And while looking at that now, the value of those cards has plummeted big time. So, who knows, maybe I never had luck in the first place. We get Nackley, Nimble, Your Mask, Technical Machine, Turbo Energize, Wog Trio, Technical Machine, Blindside. Again, they always give me this card. They're taking shots. They're taking shots at me. Orthworm, Orthworm is the reverse. Into a cross hall. Into a Palkia Hollow. Where are my hits? <laughs> and just like that, we're down to our last three packs. Now this Armor Rouge pack feels thick, so I'm gonna leave that till last. That feels thick. This feels pretty thin. So I don't expect anything in it. But let's see what we get. Let's see if there's anything good. Give me a like in the comments. Give me a like in the comments, that's right. Give me a like if you want me to get good luck. <laughs> I need some luck. All right. So we start off with the dark. Pampor, I like how that's drawn. And I love how that's drawn, that Blitzel, amazing. Bon Sweet, Feebas again, I love the art on a lot of these cards. Steeny, Gliscor, Absol, again, this pack is full of beautiful arts, beautiful arts. So let's see if we get something big at the end. The reverse is a Purloin, into a Blitzel reverse, cool, into Zekrom, oh my lord. So just to recap, we've only had two hits so far. That's not great. All we've had so far is a full art EX and a regular EX. And we're down to our last two packs already. The luck in the last video was just like this, so boy. These ETBs don't seem to be great. There we go. Alright, so we start with the fighting. Give me something good. A pom. Grab something with that big hand of yours. Pan says he's looking for the hits. He's looking for the hits, just like me. Mantike. Goodbye. Simitage. Orphan. I'm not feeling good about this pack now. I don't like this Pokemon. Toad Scroll. Ooh. He's looking around the corner. He sees something good. Okay. Wimpod. He's got multiple arts this set. That's interesting. Into. That's Way Coco. Into. <laughs> A Chi Yu Hollow. I tried something cool, it didn't work out, it's not cool. So, my god. 10 packs down. Two hits. Two. Two. Oh my lord, this is not going well at all. This last pack better have something big in it because, man, this has been probably the worst ETB I've ever opened in my life. In my life. Oh my lord. 
Well, this pack seems thick at least. You know, you know, thick is always better than thin, right? There you go. Let's see. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for something big. I'm not going to spoil it. Leaf. Spinder. Tinker Tink. Tender Mouse. That's adorable. Dwebble. Iron Bundle. Again, future Pokemon. Regular card. Future card again. Techno Radar. Is there going to be a tech... A techno. Is there going to be a big future hit? A Counter Catcher. Ooh, that's a nice looking art. Zatu Reverse into... A double blade reverse into now this is the last card of this whole ETB and it's been shocking so far. It's been shocking. So there better be something big behind it. Let's see. A wall canyon, hollow, regular. Oh boy. 11 packs, 2 hits. That's that's terrible. Genuinely, that's actually terrible. The pull rates on this set seems really bad. Ooh, I'm not happy with that <laughs> at all. Well, I mean, just let me know what you guys think. Are you guys struggling with this set as much as I am or am I just finished? Should I just pack up and go home? I'm already home, but should I just pack up? Let me know. All right, guys, I'm trying to stay positive because that was a terrible pack opening. Two hits out of 11 packs. This is worse than 151 in terms of pull rates. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I've got some other Paradox Rift stuff coming. So hopefully the luck changes. But if it's like this the whole way through, man, this set is going to be torture gonna be absolute torture let me know what you guys think about the set if you enjoyed the video at least leave a like comment down below what you'd like to see next don't forget to subscribe share the video show your friends but thank you very much for sticking around i'll see you in the next one bye